Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing seven things narcissists do that will not make sense to you. Please give this video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Seven things narcissists do that will not make sense to you. Narcissists do not make sense to us because they do not think like us. They're not reasonable people who consider others in their choices. They are self-centered and inward focused. They can't receive your perspective which makes them very confusing. When you are trying to make sense of them, you are thinking like a rational, sane person, and that is why you feel confused. The narcissist never knows what they want. They are highly reactive and they are always on the defensive. They do not interact with the world to learn more about other people or even themselves. They are constantly in survival mode. They are constantly at risk of a narcissistic injury. So they see the world very differently than we do. They are hyper-focused on what could harm them, which is why they walk all over people in their lives. They are unable to find pleasure or happiness within themselves. So they are constantly searching for sources of supply that can make them feel better about themselves because they don't have the skills to generate their own positive emotions. But they are rarely ever alone. They always have people who they can manipulate and control as a way to boost their egos. They use people to feel better about themselves, but they cannot connect with people, which is why they burn bridges, because they cannot sustain a relationship. They're always looking for something new because they can't self-reflect to learn that they are the cause of their own pain. As they are destroying their own relationships and because they don't take accountability, it may leave you feeling unworthy or not good enough and they will typically blame you. But nothing you do appears to solve anything for them, which makes it very confusing. So I have found seven things that narcissists do that may not make sense to you to help clear the fog and bring clarity to you. 1. Sometimes the narcissist is nice. The narcissist caused pain and suffering to you. They betrayed you. They invalidated you. They gaslighted you. But then all of a sudden they're wonderful. They're kind and generous. They're fun and playful. They become everything you ever wanted them to be. And when that happens, it makes you feel like you're going crazy. Because if they were a narcissist, then how could that be possible? But they know how to put on an act. They know how to be everything you need them to be. If they're getting supply and their needs are getting met, they can be very pleasant and agreeable. If they feel admired and validated, then they might want to spend time with you. And they might even be good company to be around. But that's only because they've got everything they need. They're mostly dangerous when they're trying to get their needs met. So for a moment, a day, a week or a month, they may consider you. But you deserve better than that. You deserve to be loved and appreciated every day. Two, the kinder you are, the worse they become. You may try to apply normal behavior to the narcissist, but narcissists are abnormal. So that behavior will not affect the narcissist the way that it would affect you. Because emotionally, they speak a very different language. They are extremely insecure. They're haunted by a feeling of worthlessness. 
Even when you're trying to make them feel valuable and important, they still feel like they're not good enough. Which is why you will never get an authentic interaction with a narcissist. They can only manipulate you to react to them because they're very insecure. So they have to be in control of how you respond. Even though sometimes they may want you to react negatively because any reaction gives them reassurance that their false persona is genuine. Narcissists have a lack of object constancy as a result of it never being developed in childhood. So now they have a black and white mentality, which means that they cannot integrate the good parts and bad parts about you into a realistic whole. Instead, they view you as 100% good or 100% bad. And it depends on how they feel about themselves or how they perceive you in that moment. But it is impossible to predict how they will perceive you or what version of themselves they may be experiencing because it has very little to do with you. Which is why they're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You never know what version of them you're going to get. And that is why interactions with them are so chaotic. You are normal. So you assume predictable reactions out of them. But they are fake people. They just don't know it. And neither do you. So sometimes they may respond rationally. Or they might respond in ways that leave you confused. And as you try to respond to them, you will feel just as fake as they do. Because it is this chaos that will drive you insane. It will leave you wondering who you are until you become a shell of yourself because they don't know who they are. They're just trying to manage their own feelings of worthlessness, which is why when you show them kindness, it will trigger their inferiority complex and then their ego will compel them to bring you down to their level. Three, they move on very quickly. The narcissist will move on very quickly, even after all of the hurtful things they did to you, which can be very confusing. But for a moment, just imagine if you had done those things to them. Imagine if you had caused that amount of pain to someone. Would you be able to move on from that? Would you be able to forgive yourself and let go of any shame or guilt that you felt? and all of the anxiety and the feeling of being a bad person? How difficult would it be for you to move on from that? But the narcissist will never apologize to you and they will expect you to move on. They will be irritated to witness your feelings of hurt and betrayal and it will make them very angry because they lack empathy. So their feelings are only for themselves. They're mad at themselves because deep down they know that they're no good and that is why they move on because they're trying to escape from a version of themselves that they don't like. They would rather just pick up a new situation somewhere else but they don't have to be held accountable for their actions which is why they discard their victims because they can't deal with the shame. They feel worthless inside but they do not feel anything for you. Their feelings are only about themselves. They were never emotionally invested in you. It was all an act to get their wants and needs met. You meant nothing to them. The new supply now means nothing. And each supply after that will mean nothing. They're just void fillers something to distract them from their emotional pain. They do not see people as anything other than objects to be used and discarded, which is why they will never experience love. Because love actually causes a trauma response in narcissists. They may think that they like someone when actually they just want to be that person. They want to have what that person has and do what that person does. So it may seem as though they like them initially, but then they end up resenting them. 
because they discover that they can only copy them and never actually be like them. And they can't be like them because people work hard to accomplish things. You can't just appear one day and act like you're successful, but not do anything. But narcissists are very lazy and unmotivated because they feel entitled. They feel that everything should be given to them simply because they deserve it. But the world doesn't work that way. The narcissist can move on very quickly because they don't have any positive emotions to invest into a relationship. There is no connection. There is no sexual chemistry. Sometimes it may appear as though there is, but it exists only in the victim's mind. It's one-sided. The narcissist is not physically or sexually attracted to anyone other than their false self or the extensions of their false self. They may treat you as an extension of their false self, but they will never see you as you actually are. They engage in grandiose fantasizing with whoever they're with. They switch you out for an ideal partner in their minds, but they're never actually interacting with you. And that is how it's so easy for them to move on because that ideal partner still exists in their minds. So they can replace you very easily and quickly because they're not even interacting with the physical world. It's all based on whatever they're imagining inside their heads. They were with you physically, but they weren't with you mentally or emotionally. Four, when you catch them in the act. When you catch the narcissist out, they will make the most unbelievable excuses, but you may still believe them. Even if you have very clear proof that they have been cheating on you, even if you found the messages on their phone, they will turn the tables on you and accuse you of invading their privacy. They will say that it's their private life and it has nothing to do with you. Even though you may have thought that you had an agreement or commitment with them, that doesn't mean anything to the narcissist because narcissists live multiple separate and very different lives and they are a different person within each life. They may often deceive people by having two separate homes, families or sets of activities, one of which they keep a secret. Leading a double life destroys their soul and it also breaks innocent people who they involve in their lives because they're living a fantasy life. They're not credible. They're not to be trusted because they maintain multiple separate and contradictory lifestyles and identities simultaneously. They have a public persona that differs significantly from a private or secret life. They maintain separate social circles, relationships and activities that are unaware of each other. They conceal important aspects of their lives. They present false and misleading images to certain people in order to hide the truth about their actual lives. And they may even carefully manage schedules and finances to avoid the two lives from intersecting or being discovered, which is why they feel a constant need to lie, cover up or make excuses in order to maintain the illusion of a singular life. Because they're disingenuous, they're not real people, which takes a psychological and emotional toll on them as they struggle to prevent the two identities from colliding because there is a disconnect between how they present themselves and how they live privately. Five, what they do when you need them the most. When you need the narcissist the most, they will abandon you. You may not be feeling well, and maybe you need some support, but the narcissist will ignore this and they will tell you everything that is wrong with them. They will demand your attention. If you've received a terrible merit medical diagnosis, they won't be by your side. They will attack or ignore you and they may even completely pull away. And if you try to get attention from other people, they will discredit you and try to become, try to come between this in some way. 
The narcissist will never support you when you need them because they are a parasite and you are their host. They extract energy, resources and attention from you. They have no energy, love, care or support to bring to you because they have no self. They have abandoned their true self and created a fictitious false self in its place. So now that is the lens they live through. It's their life. They focus on crafting an idealized, visually appealing representation of their life for the benefit of their friends, family or the community rather than simply living authentically, which diminishes genuine human connection because it has created a disconnect between their false persona and their true self. And it's all just to make themselves feel important when they're actually incredibly insecure, which is why it needs constant attention because they have no inner resources, so it cannot be self-maintained. And they cannot generate any energy from within to hand out to other people. The lights are on, but nobody's home. They may seem normal and satisfactory, but they are in fact unintelligent and useless. They may have a physical presence, but there is a mental and emotional absence because they're barely conscious which is why they're constantly on the hunt for new supply to regulate their sense of superiority. But they don't have anything to give to anyone other than a fantasy. Because if they were to give anything to you without getting something back in return, they would feel dead inside. But that doesn't say anything about you. It just means that they can't see you as a flesh and blood autonomous and independent being. They can't even see themselves that way because they've denied their true inner humanity and created a fictitious false self in its place. So they can't even connect to you. They can't give you genuine care, concern and consideration because they don't have the resources to give. They can only act in order to get something, which is why when you're down and you're out of resources, the last thing the narcissist wants, is, wants to do is to take care of you. Six, they don't feel the way you do. They don't share the same emotions. They can only feel angry or oblivious. A strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure and hostility or not aware of or not concerned about what is happening around them. That is their full range of emotion. Everything else is just mirroring. Narcissism is characterized by self-absorption, grandiosity, exploitation of others, and a lack of empathy. So anything they feel is only for and about themselves. But they are also disconnected from themselves and their emotions. And that is what triggers their rage. Their rage stems from a fragile sense of self. They may also feel shame, but they're not conscious of it. They are shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame, so they're not aware of it. Which is how they will often deflect their shame onto you, and it will leave you very confused. Because you may have felt good about yourself before, but narcissists feel intense pain, so they are constantly suffering which is why they want to inflict hurt on you because they're selfish and entitled. So they feel like they have a right to hurt you. They're in a very different state of mind, a very different mindset. They hurt you because they're suffering from a condition that disrupts normal mental and even physical functions. They're very unhealthy and unhappy. They're not satisfied with themselves but it can be very confusing because they will make their feelings about you as though you cause them to feel that way when really their emotions and reactions stem from past experiences which led them to certain beliefs that they accepted as truth. They're just preconceived ideas projected onto you to protect their ego. And all of the disorder chaos and confusion that you experience is just a reflection of the inner workings of their mind. 
7. How quickly and easily they can discard you. This is another shocking thing that narcissists do that will not make sense to you. Because it's remarkably different and sudden as to cause momentary shock or alarm. It's very difficult to understand or to come to terms with because it's very challenging and confusing. It's a foreign concept. You may have thought that they would do the right thing eventually or that they would continue some form of connection, but instead they easily sever all ties with you. They can seemingly move on as if you never even existed. And if you reach out to them, it's an inconvenience to them, unless they can still get some form of supply, such as your admiration and adoration. Because if they can still get their needs met in some way, they will hold on to you. But if you refuse to be their supply, and you maintain your standards of what you expect from a partner, they will discard you as if you never existed. And the idea that they can cut you off and move on to another life so quickly is the most confusing thing. To the point where it causes you to lose your sense of direction. It causes you to feel lost. Because it's a form of gaslighting. They have manipulated you psychologically into questioning your own reality, sanity and powers of reasoning. Because they made you believe that it meant something. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, nothing means anything. Because they don't value anything. So it counts for nothing. It has no influence or effect on them. Because they are unable to pair bond emotionally with another person. They're too afraid of being abandoned and ignored so they keep themselves guarded because they don't want to relive the trauma that they suffered at the early stages of their lives. They are too scared of bonding in fear of abandonment, which may leave you feeling like you were hallucinating, as though you imagined it all in your mind. But it doesn't matter what they thought of it, their love was not real, but your love was real. They don't have the ability to love, but you have the ability to love. So you can now take all of that and give it to someone who deserves it because they do not deserve your love. They don't show behavior or qualities worthy of it, which is why when you give them your love, they sacrifice you for their own entertainment because they don't find any fulfillment in love. And they are too arrogant and disordered to accept or admit that they need help they don't see any value in love. Abusing people is easier and more fun for them because it makes them feel powerful. So given the choice, they will always choose power over love because while you may be able to love them, they cannot love you. Narcissists are not capable of experiencing real love. They lack the capacity to experience the authentic self of another human being. They do not care about another person's happiness except how it affects their own. And they will rarely sacrifice anything in order to make someone else happy. Because the only happiness they're concerned about is their own. Which is ironic, because they can't be satisfied. No matter how much validation they receive, it will never be enough. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.